facility just outside Fallsburg, New York State. It's a maximum security prison, home to some of America's most violent criminals. One of them is Arthur J. Shawcross. His case has raised serious questions about what causes extreme violence and what we understand about the nature of evil itself. We've come to meet him face to face to see if he would tell us what made him such a violent killer. Are you very connected to these animals before you killed them and ate them? Just watched him this morning, eh? Arthur Shawcross, and he was like, he got in trouble for murder, and he, he ended up that he was eating his victims. Yeah. Got in trouble for killing people, obviously. Went to jail for murder, and he was eating his victims. What do you think about that? Gross. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> okay, he was a, he was a serial killer. He killed people, and it turned out he was eating them as well. All oh, right, cannibal. Yeah. There's this guy called Arthur Shaw, right? And he was he went to prison for murder, and it ended up that he was eating some of his victims. Right. Do you think for someone to be capable of killing someone and eating them, they'd have to have like a disconnect? Would you agree? Yeah, completely agree. Like disconnected yeah. from empathy and. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't think you can do it otherwise. Yeah. You think someone to do that, they'd have to have a serious level of disconnect from empathy. Oh, you'd have to be really fucking hungry. Um, do you think you'd have to have a level of disconnect? Absolutely. There, there's no way that you can uh, stray so far from uh, cultural and societal rules and values to, to go as far as eating someone, to yeah. not be disconnected. I think it's impossible. Wow. Have you seen the slaughter of an animal? Nah. You haven't? Have you seen animals be slaughtered before? Yes. You have? Wow. On TV. On TV? Have you seen animals be slaughtered before? Yes, I have also slaughtered animals myself. Wow. What type of animals? Well, the first thing I ever slaughtered was a chicken. Snapped her snapped her neck. Pulled its head off. And, uh, split her open. And then from there, you know, pigs, pretty common. So, in order for this to take place, there has to be a serious level of disconnect, yeah? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Like, even from the process. Yeah. So, I like where you're going with this. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that we as a society have a level of disconnect? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. And if we had that connection to the slaughterhouse from the dairy, we would be less likely to choose dairy in the supermarket, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So, do you think, um, as a society, we've become disconnected as well? Absolutely, 100% 100, 100 we have. We're just living in a conditioned world where we're just doing what we've been, you know, robotically pro like, pro like produced to do, and we just do it without any thought. Is it, not because, is it because you're ashamed of it? It's disconnected. Do you think Arthur was evil for killing, like, directly in front of him, killing someone and slashing? Did, was, he, was there no other food for him? Was that the only thing for him to eat? <laughs> he had a vegan alternatives at the supermarket. Do you think he's evil? Yeah, if you eat human flesh, you're evil. Yeah. Do you think that he's an evil person? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, like really, like actually, seriously thinking. Seriously. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you had a choice and you still choose to kill and eat someone, that would make it wrong or evil. I suppose so. In a way, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. Or super, or in a survival like, situation. Yeah, you'd have to be really hungry, otherwise, you know, like you'd have to get to a certain point before that empathy. Like, do you know what I mean? If you he had alternatives, though, he had like he could have gone out and got something else. Could have got the Sainsbury's and got yeah. like a f ready meal or something. Yeah, could have got some potatoes food. and beans or something, maybe. <laughs> do you eat flesh? We do, yeah. You do, yeah. Yes, uh, of course. We really like it. <laughs> you eat flesh? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you eat flesh? Yes. You do? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Not human flesh. Have you, do you, eat, do you eat flesh yourself? I eat meat, yeah. I don't eat like human flesh. Do you eat flesh? No. You don't eat flesh? No. No. Okay. Interesting. Why do you? No, not for five years. But I used to. Yeah. So like animals. I mean. Animals, yeah. Yeah. So you don't eat animals? No. Are you a vegan? Yeah. I'm like, I'm not a vegan. I'm uh, a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian. You eat flesh? <laughs> I suppose not so. Raw yeah, flesh. flesh, not raw not flesh. flesh. Only not, cooked. But it's cooked flesh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's interesting, eh? But then I suppose if you eat fish, that's flesh. Yeah. Because they're animals and we all have muscles. That's flesh, and, and I, flesh. Eat, I eat the skin off a of fish. That's so weird. Yeah. Did, she, did you make a connection there between flesh yeah. and meat? Yeah. You wouldn't consider meat flesh? Oh, like actual animal meat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I like the point you're making. Yeah, okay. The connection's being made here, yeah. isn't it? It's just not a lot of people that I've ever spoken to have eaten human flesh. They read a raw steak. Read a steak, you got the fat on the end of it. Yeah. Similar. You said it tastes like steak. Well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a human. You never eat, have you eaten an animal? 
Yes. How I said flesh. Yeah. Did that help you make a connection to flesh instead of when you say steak and meat? These are like different words to describe dead animal flesh. Well, the flesh immediately made me, gave me the connotation of, of human flesh, right? Because yeah. otherwise, I guess I would have just called it meat, whether it's lamb meat or pork meat. What or if whatever. Arthur called his victim's leg meat? I can see that as a way to justify disconnect. it to yourself and to, and to disconnect as well. I mean, it can also be like a, like a protection method. You know, like that program, Are kill you it. Looking? You know, that program, kill it, cook it, eat it. Yeah. I, if I was that person that was to do kill it, cook, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to eat it. So you've got empathy. You're connected to your empathy. Yeah. I've definitely been nurtured into, you know, don't, don't kill people and definitely don't eat them. So this is what you've been taught. It's a conditioning sort of thing. Like Absolutely. Yeah. So when it comes to, to animals, that's why I don't have a moral standing on it. I, I enjoy it. It's normal for me. Yeah. And in my opinion, I'm closely connected to it. So I feel the way that I do it is all right for me. And I just laid the flesh up on top of that stick, right? And I bit into the, into the flesh itself. Like for example, I'm a huge fan of offal at the moment. I'm so really what's offal? So offal are, it sounds awful, but offal is... It rhymes organs. too. Organs. Yes, animal organs. For example... Uh, While I was doing it, I took the vagina of three and ate it. Why? I don't know. Haggis? Haggis, exactly. That's the type of offal. But and they, they stuff it with other organs as well, like kidney and so on. Okay. I'm a huge fan of kidney and liver. Do you have any comprehension of the suffering that you've brought the families of the people that you've killed? I don't have any remorse. Would you feel any guilt if you seen an if you had to watch an animal be butchered every time we ate them? Yes. Do you feel guilty? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. It would be more yeah. guilty because it'd be more be more yeah. visual, wouldn't it? This is a horrible thought, but I mean, if someone were to, you know, rape and kill your grandchildren, what should happen to them? I would be devastated. He said he had no remorse for his victims that he killed and ate, and. They asked, what if it was your grandchildren or your family? And then he said, I'd be devastated. But I find it strange that you can have, you clearly feel affection for your, your daughter and your I grandchildren. Know. That's strange. But you can't feel any empathy for all those people that, the families of all the people that you killed. Yeah, it's not there. Uh, if you were friends with the animal, would it make it harder to see them be butchered and killed? And would you still want to eat them? I would imagine it would definitely make it harder. I used to have three dogs, so then if I imagine like butchering my dog, yeah, that's pretty weird. However, it's also a house animal. Um, I've never had a farm animal in a house setting. However, yeah, I, I can definitely imagine it would make it tougher, you know? You seen, have you seen footage of animals be slaughtered? It took a couple of hits, but the head came off. She body dropped to the ground, she just bled out. If he conditioned himself to kill human beings, and you've been conditioned to kill animals, um, and others haven't, if they were to see animals being killed, they would react differently to someone who was sort of connected and conditioned to the slaughter process kind of thing. Is that, would you think that would change the way the society eats if they were faced with that? Yeah, so they bolt gun the animal in the head, slash their throat open, drain them of their blood, skin them, saw them in half and hang them up? I didn't see it. I split the body in half. I think absolutely. I mean, first of all, it's a pretty gruesome process, in all honesty. It's quite gross. Yeah. I didn't go all the way deep into the stomach area. Just split her open. I don't know why. Does that make sense? So weren't, we weren't told that was you wrong? You weren't consciously killing, killing someone them. like Arthur was. Yeah. But when we pay for animal products, we're paying someone else to kill animals for us. Yeah. So it's like a supply and demand thing. Very, very interesting. When, when you pay for flesh of an animal, you're paying someone to kill the animal for you. Like, so it's kind of like a supply and demand. You demand the killing and we eat the flesh, yeah? Mm. So similar, like, do you agree? Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. So you'd actually, you're actually a vegan in your heart? I, I've just had a burger. <laughs> I've you've, had, you've had a burger just now? <laughs> yeah, I've just had a burger. Oh my God. <laughs> You ate someone. <laughs> I ate a cow. You paid someone to kill someone and you ate them. I ate a cow today. Oh my God, this is making me feel bad. Right, I've got to get a train now. I've always been very connected to what it is to eat and how to feed yourself. And so you were very connected to these animals before you killed them and ate them. Shawcross knew what he was doing. And if you know it's wrong, then you're responsible for your acts. That's the way it works. To some extent, he very well may have known what he was doing or been somewhat aware but then, you know, you, you lie to yourself, you help, you convince yourself as well. Everybody reads what they want, believes what they want, 
You know, and here's what they want. Do you believe animals are humanely treated? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. But I don't think we're humanely treated either. Yeah. Do you, on the same level as animals being slaughtered for food or? Oh yeah, that's like next level though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It is next level. <laughs> Do you believe that it's morally justified to kill animals and eat their flesh? It's a bit of a loaded question, I know, but... It's a bit loaded, yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily say... I don't, I, I don't have a formed opinion on, on the moral sense. I don't have any remorse for some reason. So I think there's a distinction between people who are just uneducated and those who are like literally connected to the killing process and still don't care. Yeah. It's like, And sometimes it can be upbringing, I reckon. Upbringing. Yeah. Conditioning. Conditioning, you know. First time I went hunting, I was about 12 years old and I went pigeon hunting yeah. and afterwards we made pigeon tacos. Wow. But because we've grown up, if it's something that's put in front of you, you don't know that that's wrong or right. You're actually not as disconnected as I might have thought. No, absolutely not. And also as a chef, you know, I have butchering experience, not so much slaughtering like in a professional yeah. sense, but I have butchering experience yeah. as well. I'm very, I'm definitely very connected to the whole process. I don't know, something inside me is weird. You don't think that people who eat meat are just inherently evil? No, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, don't think, see it. no, but it's just not seen. You wouldn't consider like yourselves evil people at all, no. would you? No. No. Yeah. So you don't think that um, flesh eaters, meat eating public are inherently evil like a serial killer is, of course? Well, they are in some, like, you know, aspect, On but, some level. but I feel like they, they don't know that. No. You've opened my mind today. Wow. People on the outside do not know what evil is. Do you know what evil is? Sure. Are you evil? Somewhat. Yeah, the closer you are to an animal, the closer their diseases reflect our diseases. Wow. And then upon eating an infected animal, you are much more likely to accept those diseases. It's like when they use a pig for heart transplant surgery. Yeah. I mean, They're very c close to us because they're mammals. and Yeah, and they have a very similar organ structure. <laughs> it ended up that he was eating his victims. Yeah. So what do you think of that, eating flesh? Could be the new alternative now that yeah. we can't eat cows anymore. So oh, we could really? just move on to human flesh and we could solve the entire population problem at the same time. It could be onto something. Could be good for the environment. It actually could be. Could we yeah. give the planet a good clean out, wow. get all the serial killers and just like put them in the designated areas and just get fucking just eat people up.